And when you're when right now, as you're in practice mode with your character, go to your frame data. Let's find moves that are unsafe. What moves do we have that are unsafe? So clearly this is minus 18, unsafe as hell. How can I make this safe? With my cameo fighter. And what move in my cameo's move list works? Let's see. So we have a basic standing one. Let's see what this frame. Let's, I'm looking at the frame data first. We're gonna go through all this frame data. Let's see what, the, what what we working with. Um, seven frame startup. So he has a pretty pretty fast, you know, standing one. It's pretty quick. I'm pretty sure I can use this for anti air. Like, consider how fast it is. I'm pretty sure I can use this for anti air. Let's see if I can. Nope. Let me do that. Uh. Let's go ahead and jump four. Yep, sure can. Okay, okay. So sending one, one, two. Okay, that reaches. That's nice. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that definitely doesn't work. That's cool. So now let's. So now that I know what my anti, I, I have one anti air. He also has another anti air. Um, this is also an anti air, and he, and it floats very high too. So, okay. Okay, let's let's take that off. Uh, take the trigger off. Here. Nope, that doesn't chain. That doesn't chain. But that does. Okay. Okay, so that does change. So that's the standing one into four, two into four this is me just like i said i'm starting off with some some basic stuff some easy stuff just i'm just trying to see like besides on the ground what works i'm also seeing teaching myself at the same time okay so standing one works in the air and it also works on the ground the distance of this move like how far does it reach so that's not how far does this move reach uh, okay okay so i have to be about right here where his foot is so one step back so one step back this reaches so if I so let's say I try to bait a move out. And I said you don't have to know how to you don't have to know combos to win to win a match. Change. I mean I'm in an exchange with a, with, an, with an opponent, and I'm trying to bait out a move. I'm trying to bait them to throw. They're, they're like they're they're turtle shelling hard. All they're doing is blocking. Okay. If I need to break their offense, right? I need to know how far my moves hit. So this is a good way of. It's okay to be able to do this all day. Like like uh, uh you know like you can go like this. That's great. All right. That's fine. But let's say your opponent is not giving you that. They're blocking the entire time. But as soon as you go like one, two, they thought a punch, right? So if I go, hit, if, if somebody's blocking and they thought a punch immediately afterwards, you need to learn how to step back and then punish with the move correctly. Step back, that whiffs, that, and when you know all the other moves, like you know like a standing one for most characters, they don't walk forward. In Street Fighter Six, Luke was like one of the main characters. If he pressed one, he moves forward when he presses one. So it's hard for you to, do a jab and then sh uh, a shimmy and then go back in because he moves forward. And learning how to shimmy um, like this. Like if, you're, if I'm standing right here in front of you and I shimmy, you got to learn how to do this. You got to learn how to just step back real quick and then go into a one-two because as long as you dodge the first hit, the second hit is most likely you're going to get that. You're going to get that, that hit before they get that second one off. So um, he has a pretty good, he has a pretty good one. This is a pretty good one. Okay. This is a one, two, two. That's a knockdown. So either that's, I would say that that's probably good for a combo ender to be an Oki right above my opponent. So one, two, two. Leaves me right above them. So if I'm above you, that means that I can go back into another stream. If a person is not doing wake up attacks, then I can do like a jumping stand, a, a jumping move. You can do uh, one of these, go back into something, you know, go back into something else like here. You know what I mean? So if I'm right above you, you don't have an option to get away from me. I'm standing right above you. So know, knowing like if your attack knocks that a person that knocks that person far away from you, or if the attack leaves that person right in front of you. So this one pushes my opponent away from me. So now I get a little bit of distance. Once you get some distance, okay, this leads me to do like moves like this. Okay, so now we now we pushing my opponent away leads me into more of the zoning tools so now you go into more of your zoning stuff and it, like i said this is for all general characters it doesn't matter what character you're using if they can zone if they have pushback moves not knockback moves you're learning 
what are they for what are these moves for these move this move is something that knocks you down in front of me keeps you in front of me and this move push you away away from me. that's yep okay that's that right there so because th he is airborne if i have my opponent in the corner i can use jack to combo into this now any other time we can't but in the corner i can because it, the, the move knocks back if i was middle of the screen it's not gonna work but since we're not in the middle of the screen i can't use this move two three pick up and then let's see so one two three and then we can pick up again right can't hit him while he's raw ducking right this all goes above these are all highs all these standing moves all highs okay but what will hit him out of this is a mid okay that's a mid a person cannot raw duck a mid they also cannot raw duck an overhead okay so if you if they're raw ducking you can either use an overhead or you can use a mid to get them out of this and it's only if they're raw ducking that means that if you're doing this too much even for me i'll start doing this and start down wanting you to get you up out of that because I, I don't like the fact that you just keep mashing me every single time i stand up or i wake up and keep mashing no i want to cut you off from that so you're raw ducking hit you with an overhead or i hit you with a mid that's, a, that's something we just learned right let's call you rye appreciate it i'll comment just call you rye just call you rye so we just learned two things we just we just learned two things right now about how to deal with ducks right we just learned two things you also cannot grab somebody if they're raw ducking y'all see this i can't grab you i'm grabbing i'm grabbing i'm grabbing it's not working because you cannot grab somebody while they're raw ducking meaning they're just holding down and not blocking now let's say if he blocks Okay, you see how I can, I can grab him out of this? So if he's raw ducking, I cannot grab somebody raw ducking. But if they're blocking and ducking, you can grab them out of, out of what they're doing. Also, highs will hit if they're if they're blocking and ducking. This high hits when they block and duck. But if I if he raw ducks me, this doesn't hit. So be aware, if your opponent is sitting there doing this the entire fight, right? They're just blocking. It doesn't mean that they're it doesn't always mean that they're gonna win turtle shelling. It doesn't mean it always mean they're gonna win. They're blocking and ducking at the same time. So your highs, your fastest attacks are normally highs. They're gonna hit. You just have to be patient and realize, okay, so if he's blocking and ducking like this, right? One, grab. Because remember, they cannot, they have to raw duck afterwards, they have to raw duck. So if, if somebody's doing this to you the entire fight, do something, don't, don't be doing this. He's gonna block all of that. He's gonna block all of this because all he's doing is blocking and you're going, Oh, he's turtle shelling. He's turtle shelling. Okay, so instead of finishing the combo, look, he's still he's raw ducking it like this, right? Still blocking. Grab him. Knock him out. That knock him out. The, knock him out of it. Because now, because now they, they're gonna they're gonna assume you're gonna keep going for strings. When you hit them with one grab, they now have to break their offense. They have to break their defense. Either go into offense or break it and let go because they're expecting you to do a punch again and grab him the second time. And these, this is what I mean by, like, you can win a fight in Mortal Kombat without doing combos or any of that stuff. It's just, you can win a fight just by doing this simple stuff right here. All simple stuff. Take your time. Don't force, don't force nothing. Learn what all the stances are and how to beat each stance. That's all. That's, that's like, the best thing about Mortal Kombat. There it is. Okay. So if somebody's baiting you and doing this to you, right? They keep doing that to you. You got to realize that they're doing this. This is not a, a situation where you get up with a wake-up attack. This is a situation where you just get up. Just, just wake up. Don't let a person bait you into stuff like this. This is very, this is, I know I know it might seem like, well, Trey, I'm, I'm, you have to focus, pay attention to what your opponent is doing. Because a lot of times people just do this to you, knock you down, and then start blocking. Wake up regular. Just get up. They're not doing it. If, I, if I'm pressing buttons or you're trying to get up, unless I time it correctly, you're gonna win this battle getting up. That's the only time we do wake up attacks is when somebody knocks you down and they keep mashing buttons every time. Okay? No, are we learning here, family? I hope, I hope we learn it, man. Because there's 20, because there's 20 something cancel frames, there's 25 cancel frames in this move. This move right here fits within 25 cancel frames. It's called denial. So denial is 14, it's a 14 frame startup. So there's 25 cancel frames. This fits right in there. That's why this move changed into this. So one, two, cancel into that, right? That's, this is how you learn how to, how to change. You don't just press buttons. You actually look at the frame that it tells you how, how moves work. 
So if I do this, this works too because standing one has 16 cancel frames. So if it's 16 cancel frames, the move has a, my special has a frame, start up at 14, it fits right in between those frames. Right in between 16 is 16 open frames. It's a 14 frame startup. It's gonna fit perfectly. So right here, I can do this as a. You, I mean, even though you wouldn't do this, it's not a. This not a. I'm just showing you how the frame data works that you can fit this in here. So let's go for. Let's see. Okay, well Trey, you said one two, is is uh 25 cancel frames. So I can cancel that into a special. It's minus five on block. What does minus five on block mean? What does that mean? Okay, so what that means is if I'm minus five. The fastest frame move that most people have is a, is a standing one. Standing one is little hand. Standing one. Just psh, standing one. That's a seven frame startup. Okay. If I'm minus five, there's no move in the game. I'm pretty sure it's not. That's a five frame startup. I'm pretty sure they stopped doing that. If there's a move in this game that's a five frame startup, that's crazy. Okay, so even the down one is not a five frame startup. It's a seven frame startup. So what this means is I'm safe. It's not my turn anymore, but I'm safe. If I do one, two, I can block afterwards. Right? Because, because I'm, mind you, down one, his down one is plus seven. It's a seven frame startup. My move, one, two, is minus five on block, which means there's no move faster than five frames in this game. Everything is, is mostly a seven frame startup, maybe an eight frame startup. I'm safe, but it's no longer my turn. So what is it, Trey, what do you mean by my turn? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to down one him back. So I'm gonna go one, two, and try to down one. I can't, look, I can't. Because it's not my turn anymore. I don't have a move that's fast, that, that this, move, this move is not faster than five frames. There's no move I have that's faster than five frames. So once I do standing one, two, my turn is over. I can block, but my my turn is over at that point now. And this is where this is where why I say why frame data is so important because if you know this, when you throw out a one two, you don't press another button afterwards. Don't press another button because now you're setting yourself up to get hit by something dumb, knowing that your turn is over. You're safe, but you're turn after this. My also as well, because this move is a knockdown. Y'all see where it says cancel? It says na means you can't cancel into this. Once you hit somebody with this, you have to fully commit to it. There's no canceling. You can't cancel into a, the burst. You can't cancel to a fireball. Any move that says NA, cancel NA, means you cannot use a special afterwards. It's a, most likely it's a knockdown or it's a pushback. Uh, Shatter Sin, one, two, two, uh, command grab. This is for sure, for sure, a knockdown. Um, 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 you know, like afterwards, it's a, bah, bah, it's a knockdown. So there's no canceling afterwards because it's a command grab. It's minus 13 on block. So that means that if somebody blocks this move, oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. That's a full punish. It's back one. This is minus four, so it's safe. Uh, it's not my turn's over, but it's but it's safe though. So back one is safe. It's this. This is safe. It's minus four. Okay. Also, two, I should be able to cancel this move, right? Yes. So it's 20, 27 cancel frames, so I can cancel this move into a special. Uh, the second part of this is, is back one, one, two, which is minus seven. This move is not safe. So minus seven means if he punishes me with a one, two, okay, if I do this, I'm most likely able to get punished with something with like a one, two afterwards because I am really close to my opponent as well, too. So let's get out the corner. Let's see. Let's see if this move has a, how much, if, if I'm in the corner, it's not safe. So let's see what happens if I, if we're not in the corner. So let's go, uh, default. The middle of the screen. Here we go. Put it here. Let's see. Uh, one, two. So yes, I'm right in front of you. One, two. Push back, right? So one, two. Push back. Now you see how you see how I just went from minus. I went from this is the trickery in this game. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This what this what what's going to make this game so amazing, or what makes this game so amazing, is because. Anytime that I would be unsafe normally, I'm minus seven, right? If I want to make myself safe and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to get hit by here. You blocked it. I threw something out. You blocked the entire string. I didn't, I didn't get the hit confirmed. Okay, you blocked it. You call in Jax to push back. Now I'm minus three. So look how far, look how far I am. I'm safe. There's nothing you can do. 
that's what makes this game so fun it's the cameo system the cameo system is what makes this game so fun it changes everything about this game bro moves that would normally be unsafe or moves that you will be able to punish in any other mortal Kombat, because of the cameo fighters the cameo fighters break the com the, the break the comedy i mean it's got to be like like right here minus 18. now minus 18 punish it punish it punish it it's minus 18. let's see what this is this is minus 18. one two right okay so this one two this is hella unsafe i'm minus 18. how many moves do you think in the move list that you have that's plus that's faster than 18 frames as long as the startup move is faster than 18 frames so anything between 7 and 18 you can punish me with this this move is very unsafe any garris it don't matter who it is any garris player the only way to stay safe after this is if i call that in that's the only that's this is my only way i can stay safe is if i if i, if I call this in watch two call this in to help me because without this i'm unsafe then a fort down this move it's only minus six so don't let somebody bait you because somebody can just do like this to you right and you're not tripping like they, they you're expecting them to throw the second part out but all they keep doing is this to you this is the slick part about mortal kombat players they'll do stuff like this hit you with this because they're you're, they're expecting you to and then and then they go for grab you're expecting the the, the, the tombstone to come out because that's what i'm gonna do watch y'all gonna see watch I'm, I'm gonna hit people with a bunch of cheese okay so this right here into into grab or you go into this one here and if that and if this move doesn't hit bring jackson to make you safe and when you're when right now as you're in practice mode with your character go to your frame data let's find moves that are unsafe what moves do we have that are unsafe so clearly this is minus 18 unsafe as hell okay how can i make this safe with my cameo fighter and what move in my cameos move list works so if i if you have jacks this does not work it's a command grab they have to be in the air for this to work this won't work it's a command grab that won't work this move won't work i'm at a i'm at a, I'm at a uh, cameo fighter that won't work either because that's too slow look how long it takes look at the girl that's too slow this is when i have my opponent in a mix and i'm, and I'm mixing my opponent up real crazy right because i can move i can i have freedom to move watch i have freedom to move but look but the thing is look how look how long that takes so you have to put your opponent in a in a situation where they're in a setup for that to work 